This year I'm expecting big things. Um, I believe coming off an A and three season, uh, we're really excited to see what the future holds for us. We're only going to get better from now on. So we're returning, I believe, seven to eight starters on offense. So offensively, I think um, we're very experienced and we're going to come in and we're going to you know, help our defense out. But um, other than that, I'm expecting a pretty good year. So. Sure, absolutely. I mean, this is uh, an anxious time right now. We're close to the report date. I'm excited about seeing all the guys again for the summer and see what you know how their internships ended up and then getting into football is obviously important to the players, to the staff, and everyone else. So um, excited to see the new faces. Uh, we have 47 freshmen and, and some transfers, some new players in our program reporting along with the 56 upperclassmen, and just seeing how quick we can gel together and, and, and get going here and accomplishing our goal of, uh, of uh, you know uh, winning this intended conference. And uh, today, that's everyone's goal. Today, everyone's still. Uh, has no blemish on their on their record. So uh, this is a good time of year. It's a fun time of year, but uh, it's a time where we, we know it's near, we know it's close, and, and I think we're all ready to get there. See, I, I don't think about it too much. I just let it happen. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to continue working hard and running hard. So, I mean, but when that does happen, it'll be a, a huge honor. I mean, like I said before, uh, putting your name amongst the many greats that played at Moravian College and to see that all your hard work paid off and you broke some of their records is a truly rewarding feeling for all of the work they put in. Sure, Chris is a big reason um, why we're where we are at Moravian College and Moravian football. Um, and, and last year, uh, finishing with an 8-2 and two regular season record, having a chance to play uh, in a postseason game. It has a lot to do with Chris DeGroen and the work that he brought here when he was a freshman and the leadership qualities that he has. Um, people follow what he does in the offseason, and, and that's where you win games, and that's where we were able to build that and enthusiasm and grow and uh, really prosper through the offseason program. So Chris has done an amazing job and, and wanting to put the weight of the world on his back I think we've showed that in a few games with him last year in the amount of carries he's had. But his leadership ability, his character, and his integrity as a person, you, you don't get any better. So he's a great role model for these younger guys and especially some running, younger running backs that are going to be with him day in and day out to see how we expect you to be on and off the field. Chris is a great role model for that. It's, it's definitely nice to be uh, respected a little bit more in the conference. I know my freshman year we were probably ranked on the bottom, towards the bottom, around eight or so. But um, last year we were ranked fourth, and then this year we're third. So it's it's nice to see us continually, continuously getting better. So hopefully, you know, next year we could get up there to number one. So. Sure, it's fun. It's great to be able to bring a student athlete with you, number one. They don't get to experience this. Like, as a, as a head coach, you get to do this stuff year in and year out. So it's to bring a different guy in this year, bringing Chris. Um, it, it's great for them to experience the, the, the enthusiasm we have as a conference and the camaraderie we have as head coaches here. So that's fun to be able to get to do that. Media day, it brings us back together. We all get back in that football talk type of mode. Uh, you meet with the officials, you go through a different couple things here today, and, and you wish each other the best of luck because we know in a couple of weeks we'll be going head to head and, and the competition will be fierce. So today's a fun day and it's great for the student athletes to be able to attend this and go through something like this. Sure, I think a lot has to do with the, the year you had before. I think, you know, back when we were getting picked fifth, sixth, or seventh, or wherever we were a couple of years ago, that's where we were finishing the year before that. So I think, you know, the last year and, and being where we were in an 8-2 spot and finishing technically third in the conference uh, and getting picked at that, that, that spot now, I think that shows that we have a lot of experience coming back a lot of talent coming back, but now we have to identify this team, and that's going to be the biggest challenge we have as a team, coaching staff and players, is the identity we need to take on in 2016 and not live off that, that uh, 2015 record.